Welcome back to another Celebrity Suites. I'm Ethan, and can I just say I am super excited for the new Toy Story 4 movie that's coming out. And this movie, Toy Story 4, introduces a bunch of new characters. There's this, like, stunt man named Duke Kaboom, who's, like, from Canada. My favorite new characters are Ducky and Bunny, who are, like, two carnival prizes that I think are stuck together. And then the movie is kind of based around this new toy that Bonnie has made, Forky, which... This here is Forky, he's actually a spork, but he's made out of a bunch of different like craft materials. We've got popsicle stick feet, pipe cleaner arms, obviously some googly eyes, maybe some pipe cleaner eyebrows as well. I think Forky is like a fun character in general. So for today's video, we are going to be making some Forky inspired treats. They're going to be Forky cookies that will actually stand up, just like that little Forky back there. The ingredients for this recipe are two and three fourths a cup of all purpose flour, one and a half cups of granulated sugar, one cup or two sticks of unsalted butter, one large egg, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of baking powder, and a fourth a teaspoon of salt. The first thing we want to do in making these forky cookies is we're going to combine all of our dry ingredients into a small bowl. This will be your flour, baking soda, baking powder, and salt. This is almost like the claw. You know, like the green aliens, like the claw. The claw. This is like the whisk. Same, same difference. Right, buddy? Yeah, he's he's always in shock. Whatever I say, he's just. I've set our dry ingredients off to the side, and now in a large bowl, we want to cream together our butter and sugar. We're gonna mix it on medium-high speed for about one to two minutes. Once you've creamed together your butter and sugar, now we want to crack in our egg and mix that up. And then follow that with your vanilla extract and mix that one up as well. We've got our wet ingredients and our dry ingredients both separately mixed. This is like Buzz and his Space Ranger with Zerg and all that. And this is like the Cowboys with Woody and Jesse and Bullseye. I don't know. <laughs> What we're going to do is start by adding in half of our dry, mix it up, and then add in the last half of your dry and mix it up. We've mixed up our cookie dough and it has come together. It's formed a nice dough. And over here, I've got a rolling pin and I've floured the surface. Now you can refrigerate these cookies if you'd like. However, they don't need to be refrigerated. I'm gonna roll them up with my rolling pin, which can I say my favorite Toy Story character ever is Slinky Dog. I just like him. He's just funny and it's such a cool toy too, like a slinky dog. And the rolling pin reminded me of slinky dog. Which I had an idea that what if there was like a movie where all of my baking equipment came to life when I wasn't looking. Do you think it would sell? Do you think I can pitch it to someone? Who's gonna watch my movie? Simply take your dough and place it onto your floured surface and then roll it out about a half of an inch thick. We've rolled out our dough and now you might be surprised, but I was looking all over like Amazon stores and I just couldn't find a spork cookie cutter. I guess there's not that high of a demand for a spork. You guys aren't making sporks? And even online, there wasn't even like a template for a spork that I really liked or matched Forky. So I went ahead, I did a little crafting, and I actually made this template here. I just freehanded this, made it look like Forky himself. Yeah. And I've also got another piece that I cut out of that same yellow paper, and these are going to act as his feet. So we've got a spork and his feet, his popsicle stick feet. What I'm going to do is place our template onto our cookie. And then using a sharp knife, I'm going to cut around the template until we get our spork shape. I've cut out a bunch of Forkies and a bunch of Forkies feet. And now we can pop these into the oven at 350 degrees for 7 to 8 minutes or until golden brown. I took our Forky cookies out of the oven and gave them a little bit of time to cool down. But before we can start to decorate these, we actually need to do one thing kind of to prepare the cookie. What I've got over here is just like a zester or a microplane, a grater, handheld grater. And I'm going to take our Forky cookie and carefully scrape down some of the bottom. 
This is going to act as a smooth surface so that we can attach it to our base. When you flattened out the bottom of Forky, now we want to work on his feet. And for this, we're kind of just going to create like an angle, like a beveled edge on our cookie so that both of the feet meet and it makes like a heart shape. So we've got something like this, like a little heart. We've prepared our Forky cookies and now we can start to decorate them. The first thing I want to do is ice them with some royal icing. If you'd like this royal icing recipe, you can check that video out right up there. And I'm going to completely outline and fill in our Forky cookie with this royal icing. We've frosted our Forky cookies with the white royal icing and now it's time to get creative. I actually just like scoured around in my baking drawer and just tried to find anything I could that would look, look like crafts and just like how Bonnie would make Forky, just by grabbing things and placing them on. To make these features, I've got some royal icing in blue and I fit it with a number five tip. For his little like eyebrow, or like unibrow I guess, because he only has one. I've pulled apart a bunch of these Twizzlers. These are like the pull apart kind. They don't pull apart that easy. It tastes good. And for Forky's eyes, I had these like candy eyes in this big size and in this really, really tiny size. And I thought this would be perfect because they are kind of like googly eyes. And these are like the closest thing that we can get to edible googly eyes. I'm going to start by taking a little bit of our royal icing and piping a dollop on the back of our eyes and then securing it to our cookie. I will then rip off a piece of our Twizzler and attach that to the top of his face for his eyebrow and then pipe on a smile or a frown, just a funny face on Forky. I've set our Forky cookies off to the side and now we can start to work on his feet. For his feet, I've melted down some candy melts. This was a mixture of white and yellow. It was about 10 parts white, one part yellow until I got this like ivory color, which I thought would match like his paste, like his glue on his feet. And we are going to use this as glue and we're going to secure the two cookies together. Our Forky feet are glued together with our candy melts and Forky's feet are popsicle sticks. So we're actually just going to leave them just like this. They look like popsicle sticks. We're not going to frost them. However, on his left foot, there is this like rainbow sticker that Bonnie adds and I wanted to add that as well. So I've melted down a bunch of candy melts. I just put them into Ziploc bags because it is such a small amount. And I'm going to pipe on this inverse rainbow, starting with red in the middle, piping on yellow, green, blue, and purple. We have our two separate components of these Forky cookies made, our feet over here, and then the spork itself. But there's one more thing Forky is missing, and that's his little arms. To make these little arms, I'm going to be using some more Twizzlers. These are full length Twizzlers, and I'm going to start by making a loop on one end of your Twizzler, pinch it together, and then make two more loops on the sides of that. Once you have all three loops, pinch the bottom of the loops together and then shape his fingers by pinching those. And here we have one hand of Forky. Now repeat this process for the next side of your Twizzler so that he can have two hands. Now we can officially begin to assemble these Forky cookies. I've got more of our ivory colored candy melts here. And if you look on Forky, actually, actually, here. There's just a huge pile of glue on the bottom so like it doesn't need to be perfect at all and it kind of drips over so that's the effect we're going for and how we're going to attach these cookies. Place the cookie onto the feet and then start piping your candy melts on the bottom. Hold it there until it hardens and keep piling on candy melts until your cookie stays completely. Our Forky cookies are standing they look so cute there's just one more thing we need to add again his arms and to do this, we're actually going to lay them down. Maybe like a little like Andy's coming. Like just, ugh. or actually it'd be like Bonnie's coming. Lay your Forky cookies down and then attach on your Twizzler arms. Using a little bit of red candy melts, glue them to the bottom and then pipe on a little bit over the top to ensure that they stick. And here we have them, our Forky cookies that we made today in honor of Toy Story 4. These guys are amazing. Look how cute they are. Like we basically just made an edible toy Like you can kind of like play with him, like move his arms and then you can eat him afterwards, which is kind of weird that you're eating something that you used to eat with. But these are perfect for like any Disney party or if you're having like a Toy Story 4 party. These Forky cookies will be the life of that party and they're perfect. Like you can just like set one up over here. I just love playing with them. 
Like, it's a play with your food kind of thing. And if you happen to make these, please share them with me on Instagram or Twitter. Also, if you have any other requests for another Celebrity Sweets, please leave it down in the comments below. And don't forget to share this video with someone who likes Toy Story 4, Sporks, I don't know, or anything you saw in today's video. And until next time, savor life and make it sweet. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, let me know by hitting that like button down below. And while you're at it, subscribe. You can do that by clicking this cute little donut right here. If you're looking for more content, up here's my latest video, and down here's what YouTube thinks you should watch. That's all for today. I will see you guys in the next video.